As Central Texas continues to grow, there is one small hill country community that is getting together to ensure it can keep its history alive and intact. There are plans there to expand the highway, and KXAN's Candy Rodriguez shares how the Blanco community is getting ahead of the development. Good morning, Candy. Yeah, Tom Sally, good morning. There has been a lot of chatter in Blanco about what exactly TxDOT plans to do along US 281, specifically the section of highway running through downtown. And TxDOT officials tell me they're working to create a four lane divided road along 281 between the Comal County line and US 290. Now, many worry this plan includes an expansion through Blanco's downtown, where there are many historic buildings, including a pharmacy dating back to the early 1900s. But TxDOT tells me, Quote, the project does not include any changes through downtown Blanco. However, some worry that will not be the case long term. That's why tonight the Blanco Chamber of Commerce will host a meeting. Leaders say their goal is to work with the community to come up with a viable route around town. We're getting the community together, asking everybody, draw your line, let's get together and see how those overlay and let's go from there. Everybody's open to having it go around except maybe the people whose property it's going to go through and so I feel sensitive to that. The Blanco mayor says she'll be at tonight's meeting and adds the city is working with TxDOT to come up with a plan. The goal of the relief route study is to see if it's possible to relief some of the um, traffic in the trucks on 281 currently. TxDOT expects to complete the environmental studies by early 2024. At the end of next month, TxDOT will hold a public meeting, both in person and virtual. Now, the Blanco Chamber of Commerce meeting starts tonight at 630 outside the old Blanco County Courthouse on the Square. Sally. Candy, thank you.